tell me when you're ready. Mm -hmm. We're going to sew along our line, or just, as I said, just inside our line. I'm going to set my needle into my fabric just a hair inside that line. I have a red center mark on my presser foot, and I'm going to use that as my guideline. And I'm going to sew. And feel free to pin if you want to pin. These are small squares, and you shouldn't need to um, pin, but if you want to, to hold it secure, then that is, that's good. I notice that I am a, within a needle distance from that line. My needle is actually touching that line on the inside. You do not need to uh, stay stitched. All of your stitching is um, going to be 12 to 15 inch stitches per inch, um, so you do not need to stay stitched. I'm going to sew on this edge. And be careful, let your fabric feed through. Notice that I am just guiding with my fingers. I am not holding, pushing, or pushing, pushing, or pulling. Once you have um, done this, you may either cut with your scissors or you can use your rotary cutter. Oh. I'm going to stop real quick. We're going to dash over to the uh, iron. We want to iron this. Notice that when I iron, my lines are going to go away. Okay, and now I'm going to cut this. And again, you may use your rotary cutter and you may use your scissors. You are going to cut down the center of your lines. Your next step is to press. You always want to press away from the, your light edge. This is our background fabric. You always want to press towards the darker of the fabrics. If you're using the light fabric or the medium fabric or the darker, whichever is darker that is your rule to always press towards that square. When you are pressing with your iron, you do not want to press or you do not want to push. You want to be very careful not to stretch, stretch your block. Use the tip. You may not be able to see it, but I'm only using the tip of my iron and I'm so slightly pressing down. I'm pressing that edge very very neatly. When I'm finished, I may choose to set my iron down, but I am I want to avoid doing the push with the iron. When you do that, you may distort your square and it may be off, off square instead of perfectly square. Some people choose to fold their fabric this way with the outside up. That is perfectly fine. Again, use your, I am using very little pressure. Just use the tip only of your iron then if you wish you can press. Your squares are perfectly square. 